continue to hear about the importance of developing widespread accurate testing in order to fight it. Dr. Frank George here to explain how antibody tests work and what can get in the way of that accuracy, which has been a problem, Frank. Absolutely, Devin. You know, testing for antibodies to COVID-19 is essentially testing to see if a person has been exposed to COVID-19. But there are many, many steps in the testing where things can go wrong, which is why people shouldn't use antibody tests at this point yet to prove they are immune. Here is a super simplified explanation of how they work and some problems that occur. When you're infected by a virus, your body makes antibodies to different protein pieces on the surface of the virus. Once the infection is over, your body keeps producing antibodies that float around in your blood in case the infection returns. Finding antibodies to pieces of the virus in a person's blood means they've been infected before. But how do you find antibodies to a specific piece of a virus? Antibodies are built by our immune cells to only attach to one specific shape on a virus. So, to find and catch them, you use that shape as bait. That's basically how antibody tests work. The bait, or antigen, is stuck to a surface. A person's blood, full of all sorts of antibodies, is dripped over the bait, and the antibodies you're looking for will stick to the antigen. After you wash everything else away, you're left with the antibodies you're interested in. Next, you just count them. One method actually uses a signal antibody that binds to the antibodies you're trying to count. Now, if that felt complicated, it is, so let's wind back the clock to some important steps that have to go right for the test to work. The selection of the antigen that will be used as the antibody bait is important. The antigen needs to be unique to the virus you want to show someone has antibodies to. If you chose an antigen that's also on other viruses, when you detect antibodies to it, you won't know if it's because they were exposed to the virus you're interested in or the other cross-reacting virus. Also, the antigen needs to be exact. If the antigen is flawed, then the antibodies you're looking for simply won't stick and therefore won't be detected. So the bottom line is a good test is hard to make because it needs to have the right antigen bait that's exactly the same as an important protein on the virus that is also unique to the virus. Now another question is simply what level of antibodies you need to have to have meaningful immunity. Detecting antibodies is not enough. We don't know yet how protective they are, and if they are, how long that protection would last. Back to uh, you. And for anyone who missed your 5 o'clock story, I need to explain, you did all of that claymation yourself at your house, and the bad news for you is we now expect more. I hope you're working on the Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that I don't have that much time on my hands, right? <laughs> exactly right. That's great stuff. All right, Doc. Done, Doc. All right, well, the pandemic has been...